Howdy everybody. I wanted to post this video of these beautiful castings I got. I had posted something, a photograph and a question on Chasky yesterday on the Home Shop Machinist website and the live steam board asking if somebody could help me identify these things. They're beautiful castings. i put it on a scale there. That's there go, 16. So you can see about two, almost three inches long for the lid there, two and three quarters. And it's beautiful, it appears to be bronze castings. And thought I'd shoot a little video that might help the folks that have responded. Some folks said that they might be dummy castings, which I suppose they could be, but they're just very beautifully, um, not, they're not even machined, but the cores are very beautifully, smoothly casted. It's as though they seem to be have um, made to be built with that proper English, but I think you know what I mean. But they're each the center section there is what inch and a quarter high, and let's see, here's the very middle of the sandwich. Very unique design there. And again, I, I don't see any maker's marks or any identification on here whatsoever. But maybe this video will help somebody, some knowledgeable folks figure it out. Like I said, somebody's um, offered that maybe they're meant, meant to be built as a dummy, but if I was making this as a dummy, I think I'd just cast one big thing, not five separate sections with beautifully smooth. I mean, you can, that's not been machined, and you don't you run your finger in there and not catch it on anything. The center bores are about an inch, the large bore. Uh, yeah, just about an inch, and the small one's about five eighths of an inch. And here's the lid. I don't know if that's the top or the bottom, but see if there's some kind of mark on there. But it looks like it's made to be machined anyway, and what I'd like to do, if anybody can tell me who made these castings, and where I can look to get a set of prints or plans to actually build the, build the castings into something that sure would be cool. I'll hold it up just for a scale. Uh, let's see, I'm doing this all one-handed, filming with my iPhone. Let me do this. I'm going to hold it up next to the locomotive just to get an idea. Pardon the twirl. But you can see, I mean, it seems like it would fit. This is an inch and a half scale Allen Mogul. So that's what the castings look like. And again, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate any help you can offer me. Thanks again, folks.